hello there welcome back to my channel so in today's uh, video i am uh, meeting you from the bottom of my uh, floor on the floor <laughs> uh, because i want to show you my makeup empties and i think um i want to kind of lay it out and show you uh what i've used up rather than just showing you individually the the product so if you're interested in seeing all of my makeup empties so all of the makeup that i used up in uh 2021 then just keep on watching okay so these are all of my makeup empties uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm just gonna lay it out on the floor uh, right now and i'm going to organize it by categories and then we'll just go through every single product <laughs> Okay, so this is everything. I think you can see everything sort of, kind of. Um, I don't think I can zoom out. I can zoom in, but can I zoom out? Yes, I can. You'll be kind of seeing the leg of my tripod for my light, but I hope that you don't mind that. Okay, so these are all the categories. I haven't counted everything yet, but I will after we are done talking about all of these stuff. So let's start off here. So these are my powders. This is the La Cura uh, Loose Setting Powder. Uh, this was in my whole collection project pan. Uh, this was, oh, I need to make myself comfortable here actually. So this is the uh, powder from Aldi, the La Cura powder. This is probably not gonna focus on I'm just going to talk about it like that. Uh, so I love this powder. This is the best powder that I had ever tried. Uh, they are not available in Aldi uh, yet. But when they are, I am definitely going to be uh, picking up about two of them. Because I absolutely love this powder. Okay, I changed the position a little bit. Hopefully this is uh, somewhat better. I also used up this. This is the Catrice All Matte uh, Powder. So it's just a pressed powder don't know what this is uh, this was fine it's not something that I would repurchase but uh, I did enjoy it while I have it not my favorite though then I also have this effect uh, powder uh, this is a rice powder that I had received in one of my boxes I had it in a project I think it was my what project was that? I was in 2020, my kind of work makeup project pan sort of thing. Uh, this was fine, not my favorite again. I also used a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven primers. Uh, the first one is this Too Faced Hangover X uh, primer that I used uh, very recently. Not something that I ever purchased. I had to cut it open because the pump itself, uh, you know, Kind of started to fail it wouldn't uh, pump out anymore and the product would kind of spill out at the sides and uh, not my favorite would not repurchase because it started to go off quite quickly uh, then i also used up this hello uh, fab so first a beauty coconut smoothie priming moisturizer uh, this was kind of a glowy primer i did enjoy it while i had it but uh would it be something that i would repurchase possibly not this was just uh, okay then i also used up this uh, lise wattier uh, illuminating primer this i don't remember how i felt about it i guess this was just okay but it was a little mini so i'm happy that i used that up i also used up the uh, small kind of version of the benefit uh, professional this was the pearl version i think i preferred the normal version this was just uh, okay and yeah this is fine i would repurchase the professional but maybe not the pearl version i also used up this little tiny sample of the glossier priming moisturizer 
uh, this was nothing special to be honest uh, would not consider purchasing a full size it was nice that I had a small sample but uh, yeah nothing that I would um, want to have in my collection I also used up this this works in camera transit close-up uh, primer I had these I had a lot of these because these usually came in you know those boxes the the subscription boxes I unsubscri unsubscribed from all of them uh, but yeah I still have these products and this was okay it was not bad and then I also used up this um, Ila Masca Beyond Veil Skin Glowing uh, sort of gel. So it comes in like a little pot. And it was a very, very glowy. Uh, this was okay. I actually did enjoy it. Uh, would I consider purchasing a full size? Probably not. But it was fine while I had it. I used up three lip liners. Uh, the first one being from Essence. This is just a very basic kind of... Um, uh, what you call it just a wooden sort of uh, lip liner nothing that I would write home about but it was fine while I had it I also used up this PS red lip liner which was in my whole collection project pan and uh, yeah I'm trying to make this focus but it won't it focuses here uh, so yeah I used it up uh, this was one of the red lip liners that I had in my collection I'm glad I used it up because yeah I'm just I just want to be done this took ages and then this one was also in my whole collection project pan this was the Caleb's magic desert uh, lip liner and uh, yeah this was quite creamy I went through it fairly fast uh, and yeah I did uh, quite enjoy using this but I'm glad I used up three three lip liners so great and then I also used up two lipsticks <laughs> uh, I used up the Lee's Watier gingerbread uh, lipstick it was just a mini but that doesn't matter a mini still count and I'm so happy about uh, that uh, this was okay not my favorite formula or anything but uh, yeah I'm glad that I just used that up and then I also used up the wet and wild bear it all uh, lipstick and this was in my whole collection project pan and it was like almost full it was almost full and I'm so happy that I used that up I also used up two concealers uh, the first one is the Maybelline fit me concealer I did take out the the stopper out of this one and uh, this is fine I don't think I would repurchase it because it's just not my style anymore to be honest and yeah I just uh, it was fine a medium coverage sort of concealer but nothing to write home about then I also used up the MAC Pro Longwear concealer this was in my whole collection project pan and will it focus okay I had to change the settings because it would not focus here we go <laughs> uh, so this is my uh, MAC Pro Longwear concealer uh, this was in my whole collection project pan I did manage to use up as much as I could this actually doesn't open so I wasn't able to dig out every single last bit of it but I'm happy with the progress that I made with this this is the PS liquid glitter eyeshadow in the shade uh, glamour this actually dried out on me unfortunately so like it was just very dry probably nothing really would like some of it comes out but it's not very usable to be honest there you go i have a little swatch there for you but there's an awful lot of it left in here and i just considered that being um being an empty so yeah a one liquid glitter eyeshadow would dry up on me did use it quite a bit it was a lovely color but it's not something that i would want to have back in my collection then i also used up this this is my lovely nobody's perfect but me multi task highlighter kit so this was my pan that face palette uh, product uh, so I used up the highlighter and the blush I there was another shade here that was like a darker kind of chocolatey highlighter but I would not consider panning that so I just panned the two and I am very proud of myself uh, I have to be clear about that because it is a face palette that I've used up and it's not in my collection anymore so I'm 
so so happy about that then i used up one brow gel this is the catrice brow colorist uh, semi permanent brow mascara nothing comes out on the wand anymore and it was really hard to put on my brow so i actually considered this uh, an empty and i'm so happy because it takes me a while to go through uh, brow gels and to have at least one at the end of the year is really an achievement okay next up I've just moved that back a little bit are my setting sprays so this one is the uh, Belinda makeup Academy makeup fixer uh, this is fine I usually get them in Poland because they're quite cheap and quite good but the spritzer is not nice so I don't think I would repurchase this anymore then I also use up this one. This is the La Cura Makeup Setting Spray. This is a long lasting setting spray. This is supposed to be a dupe for the all nighter. Uh, this was fine, just your basic sort of um, makeup setting spray and my light just went out. So I need to charge that. <laughs> Uh, let me just finish my thought here. Um, this is fine, supposed to be a dupe for the um, Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. Both of them were not my favorite. Uh, don't think I would repurchase. And then I also used up this Candy Cosmetics Pre-Glow uh, Mist. Uh, this was a very glowy, kind of, you know, those iconic London sort of sprays. This was basically the same as that. Uh, it gave a really beautiful glow on the on the face. Uh, not something that, you know, maybe an oily girl would like, uh, which I am kind of combo. So, you know, I was kind of in the middle. But I did like how it made my skin look. Okay, I think we're just gonna have to make do with just one light. I think, I hope it's going to be okay. I'm gonna try to fly through these because this light is also on its last leg, so we'll see. Okay, I used up five mascaras. I used up three full-sized ones. Uh, this one is the uh, Catrice. Uh, Iconista mascara. This is my favorite mascara. This unfortunately has been discontinued. I am I love the wand on it because uh, It's just so small and so So nice uh, it gives me a ton of volume, but unfortunately Catrice discontinued that so I don't I, I won't be able to purchase this Then I also use of the essence lash princess mascara this is the waterproof one not my favorite one to be honest it's it's very waterproof but very hard to take off and yeah it's just it was just a very wet formula plus the wand is not my favorite either because it's uh, just a very basic simple one looks like this so yeah not not my favorite probably won't repurchase this and then very recently i just used up this lancome de finicil uh, mascara uh this was okay. I did not like it at the beginning, but I did. Uh, after it had kind of thickened up, I did really like the way that it looked on my eyes because it started to give me a lot more volume, uh, which I enjoy. It has a very simple wand. Looks like this. So... Yeah, not something that I would repurchase, but uh, it was fine. This actually started to irritate my eyes, so I had to get rid of it. Then I also used up this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury po Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. This was a mini that I had received from my friend. Uh, I don't like the wand on it. It is like, you know, the one that is flat on one side and then spiky on the other. Uh, and just, yeah, no, <laughs> not my favorite. Then I also used up this one. This was a um, sample of the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. So it has two sides, the volume and the curl. I did like that one. Uh, I actually have a full size because I bought the Glossy Box Huda Beauty um, Mystery Box or whatever it was. And uh, I have a full size of it now. So uh, yeah, I did I did quite enjoy this one. Not my favorite again, but it's uh, nice to have a full size of that. I also used up two foundations. So the first one being the uh, Revolution Conceal and Define uh, foundation. It comes with this big doe foot applicator. Uh, so yeah, I am happy that I used it up. It's not one that I would repurchase. Uh, it was just okay, kind of medium coverage, nice foundation, but not my favorite. And then I also used up this one. <laughs> this is the YSL Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. Very dewy. I bought this when I had dry skin and I did really enjoy that. But my did my skin did change to more combo. So I was still able to wear it, but it was very, very 
very glowy okay and i also used up these two sample packs of cream blushes these come from glossier it has two each so it has the shade dawn and dusk and also storm and puff i would love to buy dusk and puff because these two colors are just absolutely uh, gorgeous i'm glad that i got this sampler that i could try the formula i am in love i will definitely want to uh, purchase the two full sizes and then i also used up a full size um cream blush this is from absolute new york this is the blush bam it was a very kind of bubble gummy color uh it was nice i used, i went through it quite quickly because it didn't really show up on my skin that much uh so i had to pile on a lot uh but it was nice while i had it i'm glad that i could i uh, use it all up and then we're almost there at the end uh this is the uh the bam petal to the metal uh shadow the, as you can see this is not really empty but it did dry out and literally nothing comes out on the finger so i'm considering this an empty which is it's really a declutter but you know i did try to use it up but it just dried out in the end and this is also an empty, but really it's gonna go back to MAC. Uh, this is the Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Jade. Uh, this is so drying. I am in love with the color. It's so, so beautiful, but oh my God, is this drying and sheer and just not great. So I do want to, you know, put it back to MAC and yeah, never think about it again. I also use up this Larissi Contour Stick in the shade Aloha. As you can see, absolutely nothing here. And I did actually dig out just a little bit inside. Uh, this was really nice. A really nice contour stick. Like typical contour stick. Uh, no fuss. Really nice to blend out. Beautiful color. It was a really good uh, product. I also used up two lip glasses. So I used up the Essence Shine 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 lip gloss in the shade uh, 07. This was in my handbag. I do really like them, but this was particularly old in my collection. Uh, I had it since I was in college and I haven't been to college in years. So yeah, that's that. I'm glad that I, I used that up. And I also used up this one. This is from Enco Beauty. Uh, this is like a peachy gloss. Again, I actually took the separate out of that one because I felt like I didn't get my money's worth out of it. But it wasn't messy, so yeah. And there wasn't a lot of product in here either, but I'm glad. Two lip glosses. I also used up two cream highlighters. So this one is the Winky Luxe uh, Strobing Balm in Radiant Pink. This is all done. This is fine but uh not my favorite thing and then this is the clay essence moonlighter cushion so this was like a cushion um highlighter uh this was just okay not my favorite not my favorite application of cream highlighters anyway i prefer a balm or a stick or a liquid uh, but yeah, these two are gone and then here i have my lip balms now i consider lip balms makeup because sometimes i just wear a lip balm when i wear makeup and especially if they have a color you know it's kind of uh, makes sense so first one dr papa my favorite lip balm ever 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 would always repurchase i have so many lip balms right now so i haven't actually had the chance to repurchase but i do have two backups of this one so i will get to them eventually best lip balm ever i also use up these two eos uh, lip balms and uh yeah these were just okay. Everyone loves these EOS lip balms, but honestly, they're just not my favorite because they don't really hide. Well, I mean, I guess I guess that's what they are about. They're just hydrating enough, but yeah, not enough for me. I also used up this Kinder lip balm. This is one of those that change color when you apply it to your skin. You know, the kind of pH. Yeah, not great at all. I also used up this Inglot Rich Care Lipstick with SPF 30. Uh, this was a birthday gift uh, years ago and I finally managed to use that up. This was actually quite nice. I would consider repurchasing. I also used up this by Terry uh, Bond the Rose lip balm. As you can see, I took the stuff out and I literally scraped everything out of it. I love it. I have another sample of it because I received it in a box. I'm so happy about that because I wouldn't spend the money on it. 
but I absolutely just love this balm. So beautiful, so smooth. Uh, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. And then I also used up this Bye Bye Plumper Lip Balm. Uh, this was okay. This, this is kind of like the Dr. Papa, but with a kind of a plumping effect to it. And uh, yeah, this was quite nice while I had it. And then I also used up this Sport FX kind of raspberry lip balm. I didn't dig it out because I'm not a fan of it, but I did level it with the packaging. And that's all I care about. I feel like I got my money's worth out of it, uh, but I would not consider repurchasing. This was not great in general. But yeah, these are all of my makeup empties. I counted them and there is 48 products. So like, um, this really counts as one and this whole kind of two pack of sample, this counts as one. So overall, 48 makeup products. Can you believe it? 48 this is absolutely mad i am so happy that i kind of go through my makeup as much as i do because you know my collection some of the products in my collection are quite old so i do want to rotate them out and you know replace them with newer products and products that i do really love and enjoy so i think project panic has helped me a lot to rotate through my collection and also use up makeup um faster but yeah that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give this video a like. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!